Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing how to draw a food fight from Skylanders. We're going to get started at the bottom of our page with the left eyelid. So we start on the outside. We're going to curve down and then hook this back up on the inside. So come down and then hook that up. Now I just want to tuck a circle in underneath the eyelid. So starting over on the left side, we're going to curve around and then back up on the inside. Now we're going to leave a gap in between the eyes and draw another circle on the right side. So we're going to line up the bottom and draw in that circle. Let's add two small circles in the center of the eye for the pupil. So starting on the left, we're just going to fill that in black and go over to the right side and do the same thing. Above the inside edge of each eye, we draw a small circle and fill those in black. Now we're going to move down and draw in a large mouth. Starting on the outside edge of the left eye, I'm going to curve down in the middle and then back up on the right. Now let's go back to the left side, we're going to draw the bottom of the mouth. I'm going to curve down a little bit lower and hook that back up on the right side. On the corners of the mouth, I want to add a bracket, just on the outside corner. Now let's add in the top row of teeth. From the left side, we're going to step in, draw a curve, coming down the middle, and then back up on the right side. Let's add the bottom row of teeth. We're going to add two fangs on either end. So starting out here, we're going to angle up and in, come down with a short line, and I'm going to curve down and across towards the right to right about there. We're going to add another fang. We go up, and then angle back down. Now let's fill the inside area of the mouth in black. Now in the center, we're going to step up, start with a point. We're going to draw the first leaf over on the left side. From the center, we're going to curve up and bend that out. Now I'm going to come around and then back in. Come in the opposite direction, pulling that in. Let's add a little bit of texture. Starting from this tip, we're going to curve out towards the right and then down. Go back up to the top, we're going to curve out towards the left and down with a short line. Now I'm going to layer the second leaf in behind, aiming up towards the right. So we're going to step up, curve up, and then out towards the right. Now we're going to curve around the opposite direction, and then coming in. Let's add some texture. Starting from the top, we're going to curve out and down towards the left. Go back to the top, we'll do a short curve coming down and in. Now we're going to add another leaf in the middle, in behind these two leaves. Starting from the left, we're going to curve up, and then in towards the center, curve out, and then down on the right. Again, we're going to add some texture. Starting from the top, we're just going to curve over and then down. Now we're going to draw on the side of the head. Starting from the left, we're going to step up, curve out. Now we're just going to pull that down right beside the corner of the mouth. Let's do the same thing on the right. Stepping up, we're going to draw a curve. I'm going to stop right about there. We want to do a little overlap. Leave a little gap and continue that curve coming down towards the corner of the mouth. Now in this gap, I want to add one small leaf. Stepping up, curve across and out, come down and then in behind that line. And then from the tip, we're just going to add some texture coming down and then in. From the bottom corner of the head, we're going to curve down and then in. We're just going to round this out and pull that into right about there. Let's leave a small gap and continue the bottom of the body, curve down in the middle back up on the right. Now we're going to add the lower lip just underneath the mouth. Right in the middle we're going to draw another curve. Just follow the same curve of the mouth. Now in these gaps we're going to add the feet. We're going to leave a little overlap on the inside. So we're going to step out, curve down, round out the bottom of the foot, come up and then in. Do the same thing on the right. From the outside we'll step out, curve down, round out the bottom of the foot and then come up in an angle underneath the head. Let's add some more leaves over on the right side. So on the side here, curve up and then out. We're going to come down and in behind that bottom leaf. We're going to add some texture. From the tip, we'll curve down and in. 
Now from the bottom, we're gonna go up and then out. Let's add two more leaves on the side. So up here, go up and out. Then we're gonna come down and then just pull that in. And then one more on the side. Going out, pulling that down and then in. Now on the right side, we're gonna have him holding a tomato. So I wanna draw a circle, starting from the cheek, I'm gonna curve down to the bottom of the circle, around, and then back in. We're gonna add three fingers on the outside. Starting from the very top, we're gonna to add a small half circle, leave a gap, do another half circle, and then one more time. Now at the bottom, we're gonna add the thumb. Draw a small half circle along the bottom. Now I'm going to show the arm coming in behind the tomato, in behind the body. So we'll start on the inside edge of the thumb. I'm just going to curve down and then up. Let's add the stem of the tomato. Start with a circle right in the middle. Now from the top, we're going to step up, curve out and over. Now curve down and in the opposite direction. Now I'm just going to repeat all the way around. Curving out towards the tip then pulling that back in across the bottom and go back up to the top going out towards the right and we'll add one small one on the bottom. Now we're going to move to the left side draw the arm holding the large gun. So we start on the side of the cheek we start with a straight angle line coming down and we're going to do an overlap. Step down, curve over that line and out towards the tip of the thumb. We're going to round out the thumb and pull that down and in. Now we're going to stack two fingers on the side of the thumb. So in an angle, we're going to draw an oval. From the inside of the thumb, go out, round this out, and then pull that back in. Now on the top outside of this finger, we're going to curve out, round out the finger, and tuck that in. Now we're going to be drawing the gun in a slight angle going out. So from the tip of the thumb, just up above this finger, we're going to go up with a straight line. Now from here, we're going to draw the outside of the trigger. We're going to curve down and out. Now I'm going to follow that same angle, coming down below the finger, down towards the palm. Now here, we're just going to draw a straight line, coming up and in. Now we're going to curve this up and then in behind the thumb, just leaving a little overlap along the bottom. Let's draw the inside of the trigger. Starting from the bottom of this finger, we're just going to follow the same angle going up and then curving this up towards this line. Now we're going to move down and draw the lower part of the arm. Starting from this line, I'm going to curve down and hook that end, aiming towards that point. We step out, curve down, and pull this up in behind the body. Let's go back up and draw the top of the gun. From this point, I'm going to step out. I'm going to overlap a curve, coming down and back up. From these ends, we're going to draw two straight lines going up and out. And we'll close off the top with another curve, coming down and up. On the outside, I want to curve in the opposite direction. So we're going to bump this out and then back down. Let's add the side at the very top. From the top corner, we're going to step down, draw a straight angle line going out, flatten off the end. Now I'm going to curve down and in along the top. We're going to add two half ovals along the bottom edge here. So starting at the top, curve up and back down, leave a gap, and draw it one more time. Now let's draw on the top of the gun. From the center of this curve, we're going to come down with a straight line. Now I'm going to follow that same curve, going around and then up. Now we're just lining this up come down in behind the head. And then from the back of the thumb, we're gonna draw on the back of the gun. Starting up here, we're gonna curve down and up in behind the head. Now we're gonna add a tomato in this gap. From this corner, we're gonna step down, curve up, and then back down. At the top, we're gonna to add a small oval. Now the last thing we're gonna do is add a couple more leaves over on the left side. So along the side of this leaf, we're gonna curve up and out in behind the gun. Let's add one more smaller leaf in the center. Curving up towards the tip, curving in and then down. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Food Fight from Skylanders. 
I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.